I, I think there's a, a number of different features that are often uh, on strip till equipment and in particular adjustments. And so uh, uh, trying to evaluate the, the soil situation, the soil moisture situation, whether you're going fall or spring, uh, you know, how the planter will fit in with that, that type of thing. Uh, uh, lots of interest in that and uh, uh, farmers seem to learn something, a new little wrinkle every year when they go through that one. What I think in, in terms of fall versus spring strip till, a, a lot of it kind of depends on, on how wet or dry your soil is and how you want to set it up. A lot of times in the fall of the year, uh, soils are a little bit drier, uh, but uh, uh, the, the crop is uh, taking the moisture out of the soil. Uh, but we want to open that up a little bit, allow for some snow or, or off-season moisture to infiltrate. Maybe even leave a little rougher surface to catch some snow or some moisture that way and also inhibit uh, maybe any erosion concerns, particularly wind erosion that way. Now in the spring of the year, if you're, if you're strip tilling them, a lot of times uh, uh, you're, you're evaluating, uh, you know, what is my soil moisture situation? Is it wet or dry? Uh, how, how dry do I want that tillage zone underneath there? If, if things are a little bit on the dry side and you want to uh, keep that moisture there, a lot of times you'll use a, a rolling basket harrow or some type of smoothing operation to kind of try and seal that off a little bit so you don't just have a lot of air exchange with the outside, that type of thing. I think a key is to, to make sure that that planter is set up to, uh, to handle the, the soil situation that's out in front of you. Uh, growers, farmers have expressed some concern about the, whether that, that seed opener is moving in or out of that tilled strip. In general, inside the tilled strip, you're going to find about the same uh, soil conditions as you as you go through there. And so, if you're off a couple inches, uh, you know some research work suggests that, that that's probably not that big a deal. Once you start to get that seed opener maybe off that strip, and in particular if you're maybe in a sloping situation, got a pull type planter and have a long tongue on it, that type of thing. That can challenge the planter, and in, unless that uh, double disc seed opener has been pretty well adjusted for not just a tilled but a no-till situation, why that can give you problems, and and may even create uh, a, a slot for uh, some water to move if it's on a slope, that type of thing.